Okay, so I'm sitting here waiting for the rain to stop. I live in Florida. And um, can we just take a minute, gentlemen, maybe you can enlighten me on this. And ladies too, maybe you have some similar things happen to you in the dating pool in your 40s because it sucks and uh, never thought I'd be back here, but here I am. So, um, forget the online dating websites, the nightmares I have from that. Let me know if you want to see them. I will, I have content for days, but on dates, the stupid shit that men say, it, like mind blowing. Okay. Here we go. Example number one, went out with a guy, nice guy, texted four or five days. Okay, fine. Cool. We meet for lunch. Lunch is fine. He's a little weird. Doesn't really look like his pictures. He looked like 10 years older than his pictures. So that was a big no, no. Uh, and then he proceeds to tell me at lunch, I told my mom about you. I'm sorry. Come again. Okay. A day day went on a few years ago with a guy, nice guy, union worker, big, strong, manly kind of guy. I like, okay, fine. Cool. He starts crying at dinner and then is sad because his ex-wife never gave him a baby and then proceeds to say, you're really pretty. Would you have another baby? Like, would you, did you just ask to put a baby in me on date one? No, I don't even want to practice with you. No. And here's the best one. Yeah. So I just went out for a drink by myself the other night, last night, actually. And a guy comes over and he sits down next to me. I always go into this bar. I like to watch the football game. College football was on. The last game of the World Series was on. I wanted to watch a fucking baseball game. I didn't want to be harassed by a fucking man with a fucking porno stash. Like, come on. You're not Top Gun. Just stop. And he buys my drink. Doesn't say a word to me. Just buys my drink. Okay, fine. I look over. I say, thank you. Very nice of you. Whatever. He then proceeds to say to me, I did five years in federal penitentiary or whatever. He's like, and uh, you're absolutely beautiful. I bet I could rock your world. That's what we're going to lead with. I did five years in the federal pen and you know, you want to rock my fucking world. Tell me my eyes are pretty. Say something else other than that. For fuck's sake, man. Come on. Come on. And then you wonder why you can't find anyone good. We're fucking terrified. God, the dating pool is so shallow. It's so, mm. okay, I'm done. That was my rant. We're good. All right, so a little, little short story here. I went on a date, a first date, a few weeks ago with a very attractive man. We hit it off. We had a great time. Um, two days later, he Venmo requests me $85 for dinner. Like he wants me to pay him. Mind you, okay, I bought dessert and drinks afterwards for us. So now he wants me to pay for our meal. Is this normal? Has this ever happened to you? Have you been a victim of a Venmo request from a man who is taking you out on a first date? If so, I feel your pain because I have now officially been there. I thought I've seen it all, but uh, I can truly say I've been there now. All right, so a little, little short story here. I went on a date, a first date, a few weeks ago with a very attractive man. We hit it off, we had a great time. Um, two days later, he Venmo requests me $85 for dinner. Like he wants me to pay him. Mind you, okay, I bought dessert and drinks afterwards for us. So now he wants me to pay for our meal. Is this normal? Has this ever happened to you? Have you been a victim of a Venmo request from a man who is taking you out on a first date? If so, I feel your pain because I have now officially been there. I thought I've seen it all, but uh, I can truly say I've been there now. Guys, let me tell you something, man. These women have been enjoying all this attention on social media all the way up into the point where a lot of them are arrogant, 
cocky and dare I say snobby. They get on TikTok, Instagram, and other social outlets, and they want to make a list of demands for men to adhere to just to be with them. And to be quite honest, most of these women are average. 95 to 98 percent of these women are just arrogant and i tell women this all the time i say just because you get on social media and you get all these likes these hearts these comments doesn't mean that's going to translate over into real life doesn't mean just because these guys giving you all this attention online they're going to want to spend their hard-earned money on taking you out on a date most likely what you're going to get is Netflix and chill. That's the modern way. You see, women want men to be old fashioned and take them out on a date and, and treat them like a, like a lady. And you know, uh, he's the one supposed to pay. He's the one supposed to prove himself. While all the time they want to have this modern attitude as if I'm independent. I can buy my own. I can pay for my own. So you want men to be old fashioned, but you want to uh, adapt the modern way of thinking. But make no mistake, ladies, although you can get a lot of attention online and sure, it's easy for you to sleep with as many men as you want. The flip side of it is the one thing that you want to do. Most of y'all is fall in love and get married. Well, it's very easy for men to fall in love and get married. It's very easy for us to get married. Getting married is something most men don't have a problem with getting. So don't think, don't think for one minute there's a shortage of women that want to marry most men. And to be quite frankly, it's just a shortage of men. Quality men it is a shortage of quality men and most of these women know this that's why they back on TikTok, they back on instagram whining and whining and whining about oh there's just no good men oh he doesn't want to pay oh he doesn't want to do this he doesn't want to do that no he's probably not going to want to do this and that because social media have made most average women think they're above average when they're just being when they're just quite frankly average women and there's nothing wrong with being average 